Greetings, my fellow modder and or emulating enthusiast, welcome to the channel. I'm technically not a technician, and in this video, we'll be setting up both of the Mario Kart DX arcade versions that are available to us through Techno Parrot. We'll not only set up the arcade cabs to boot using Techno Parrot, but we'll also take some time to set up a controller. Once done, we'll demo some of the cab, and we'll have our final thoughts. However, before we do, I must say that this channel does not support software piracy. Please only emulate legally obtained ROMs, and of course, as always, are legally required prerequisites. This video is for educational purposes only, and is only intended to show you what I've done, and what my results are. If you choose to modify your systems using this or any other information I've provided from any video or content I've created, you do so at your own risk. I, this channel, or any person connected to this video, will not be held liable for any choices you make with your hardware or software. Modify at your own risk. It's important to notate that this video assumes you've installed TechnoParrot. If you've not, do not worry, as I do have a video showing you how to do so. I'll be sure to link to that video above and in the description for your convenience. Please remember that you should only use legally acquired ROMs, and no one from or associated with this channel will provide you with ROMs or ROM links. As of making this video, there are two versions of Mario Kart, Arcade GPDX. One is version 1.10 and the other is version 1.18. 1.18 until recently was behind a subscription wall, but was recently released from that subscription wall and is now available to be demoed by the masses. Of these two versions, we'll be starting with 1.18, as again, this version recently became available, and as version 1.18 of Mario Kart hasn't been added into my Techno Parrot setup as of yet. I'll not be setting up version 1.10 as I've done that previously, and it's the same in every detail other than folder locations and the executable file that you point to. To save time, and as it was covered in detail in the previous video, I'll not be covering extracting the ROM files. I've also updated the TechnoParrot program itself and will not be covering that aspect either. However, I will be clicking on the top left corner hamburger menu so that I can access the submenu, where I can select the Add Game option. Once in the Add Game menu, scroll down the game list until you reach both of our Mario Kart selections. As you can see, version 1.18 has not been added to my TechnoParrot build as of yet. So at this time, we'll make that selection, and once Mario Kart version 1.18 has been highlighted, we'll select the Add Game option from the menu on the center right side. After clicking the Add Game option, we'll be automatically kicked back into our Games List menu. Here we can now see that we have both the previously added version 1.10 of Mario Kart and the newly added version 1.18 also. For now, we'll wish to navigate to the 1.18 version and highlight that selection. Doing so will give us access to the game menu options from within TechnoParrot. The first option we'll wish to manipulate will be that of the game settings. When accessing the game settings option, we'll be confronted with Mario Kart's game settings that have been integrated into TechnoParrot's core. Of these options, we'll first have to tell TechnoParrot where the executable file that corresponds to Mario Kart is stored. This information is found at the very top, and from what I can tell, each settings menu for each arcade has a helpful hit in the form of the needed executable's name being displayed. This visual hint will aid us in the search. However, before we move on, I'd like to speak to what seems to be the default resolution settings. As you can see, our builds version of Mario Kart has a pre-populated resolution setting of 1360 by 768. Basically, this resolution setting is in between 720p and 1080p. We'll be changing this to match the desktops, but take note of the arcade's base resolution, as if you change this, you must also tell the cab that you wish to use a custom resolution too. Pointing TechnoParrot to the Mario Kart version 1.18 is as simple as navigating to your ROMs folder, finding the folder that corresponds to the Mario Kart 1.18 folder, and finding the executable with the corresponding name. Once found, highlight that selection, and click on the Open option. Once done, that screen will close and we'll be kicked back into the previous menu. Here we'll start changing the visual settings by unchecking the Windowed option. Once done, move the cursor down to the Custom Resolution option and place a check mark at that option. Next, we'll wish to match our game resolution to our desktop resolution. 
I'll first verify my desktop resolution, and once done, I'll enter those resolution numbers into the corresponding data fields in the TechnoParrot launcher. It's now time to set up our controller. Today I'll be using the infamous F710 by Logitech. It's a good budget controller, but sadly not waterproof. We'll select and enter the controller setup option, and when done, we'll be given a binding menu that will let us bind the arcade cab's controls to our keyboard and gamepad. The first binds will be that of the test and service buttons, and because they are arcade menu options for servicing the arcade cab and not game controls, I'll be binding those to the keyboard 0 and 9 keys. The next two will be the coin and the start keys, and I'll be binding those to the start and back buttons on my gamepad. We'll then wish to bind out the left stick to the arcade axis or steering wheel, and when done, we'll bind the gas to the right trigger and the brake to the left trigger. I wish to use the B button on the gamepad for the item action, and the menu and enter options will again be bound to the keyboard as they're used to service the arcade. Last, I'll bind the Mario action to the A button, and the banner pass card entry will be bound to the X button on the gamepad. It's important to point out that you can bind your controls as you wish. This is simply how I do mine. There are no right or wrong bindings here. Simply bind as you prefer. It's now time for us to launch and demo the arcade so we can verify that we've got no issues. After launching the arcade, you'll get a TechnoParrot terminal. This is normal and to be expected. In fact, once the arcade is loaded and ready to start its boot sequence, TechnoParrot sends you a nice message, asking you to have fun. I like nice messages, they make me feel warm inside. Once TechnoParrot loads the arcade ROM, the ROM will need to boot up. This will take time, the amount of time seems to be different for each ROM. I've sped this part of the video up to help save time, but know that after the TechnoParrot loads a ROM, it's normal for the loaded ROM to boot, and that booting will take time. So just remember to practice the patience of a Jedi. So far so good, and green screens are cool. Mario Kart in particular seems to take longer than many of the other ROMs to load. Let's just skip to the demo. Sadly, I am not multilingual, so I've no idea what options I'm picking as I can't read a thing in what I believe is Japanese. I've heard that there are English patches in the wild, and I feel the need to learn more. If you'd like to see a video about the English patches and what I learn, let me know in the comments. I'd like to do a short demo of the game, and then let's move to the 1.10 version of the game to give it a try also. Okay everyone, we have great control over the arcade, and the video quality is bright and very clear. So let's move on to version 1.10. As stated, version 1.10 was previously added to TechnoParrot, however, I wasn't able to get it to load due to a video error caused by not clicking on the custom resolution option. I'm going to quickly change that, and when done making the needed change, I'll save the updated settings. With the settings updated, let's just skip the loading and boot screens and let's jump right into demoing the arcade a little. In conclusion, Mario Kart Arcade GPDX is like a thrilling roller coaster ride through the whimsical world of Mario. The arcade gem takes the classic kart racing mayhem we all love and cranks it up to 11 with vibrant graphics, insane tracks, and an array of quirky characters. You get to jump into the driver's seat and race through fantastical courses filled with wild twists, turns, and loop de loops. Each track is packed with power ups and hazards, ensuring that no two races are ever the same. 
Whether you're zooming through the haunted halls of Bowser's castle or dodging giant cart-eating plants, the excitement never stops. The game also introduces a variety of carts and customizations, so you can trick out your ride to suit your style. And let's not forget the incredible power-ups. From the classic red shells to the hilariously oversized hammers, there's no shortage of ways to mess with your rivals and secure your victory. Plus, the game's vibrant, high-definition graphics and energetic soundtrack make every race feel like a party. So, whether you're a die-hard Mario Kart fan or a newcomer to the series, Mario Kart Arcade GPDX offers a turbocharged, fun-filled racing experience that's sure to keep you coming back for more. Go hit the arcade and get ready to race like never before. As far as the differences in the two versions, well, I've only demoed this game a little. It looks as if 1.18 has been updated with new items, maps, and such, but the largest difference that I saw was the English wording in version 1.10. Regardless, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please remember to leave this video a like, comment, and share this video with a friend. If you've not done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the notification bell to stay up to date on all the new videos. These are but small clicks for you, but those small clicks help this channel beat the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.